We're trying to get people on to open those doors, and this is why we appreciate you joining us tonight, because we want to put people more on your contributions to the game. And also let people know that you was also part of a dynasty as well. Well, speaking on yeah. Go ahead, Mama, go. Oh, no, no, go ahead. What was you going to say? Well, I was just going to say, just being in that particular dynasty and being a part of it, was there any backlash that you had to deal with that you either weren't ready for, didn't want to be a part of, or embrace, knowing that it was coming? Uh, you know, the biggest thing for me, like, I was a fan of Death Row Records before I ever signed, and I'm sure like anyone back in that era, they was running a rap game. So, you know, we was all fans and I was just a fan of music, um, artists in general, and I was a real big TLC fan. So I think when I got to the label, you know, when I was able to meet Left Eye and me and her not getting along, I think that was one backlash I wasn't ready for because I was such a Left Eye fan. But then you have the politics in the game, and that really grew me up and showed me just because, you know, you admire someone on TV or in an industry doesn't mean that's how they are in real life. So I think my backlash was my beef with left eye. I wasn't ready for it. I didn't want it. Um, you know, I wanted to be cool with her, but that's not how the cards fell. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Man, that sounds like some real talk right there. And I, I honestly was going to ask you a little bit about it, but everybody knows Mr. Chantilly is not the one to start no shit, and I definitely don't want to be the one that helped carry on the shit. But um, I was going to ask you, possibly, and you don't have to answer this, but when all of that, the, the surrounding beef occurred and, and the, the stuff got out about, you know, personal lives involved, you know, did... I was going to ask you how it affected you, but I could see now it kind of affected just the persona that you had of the person that you ended up meeting being a celebrity. So, I mean, did, did, did it, does it still have long-lasting problems for you now, or is it something that's, like, over and done with? You moved on, TLC, the, the, the rest of the group TLC, you know, that they moved on, they still, you know, covering resentments against you? I mean, it wasn't never with TLC because I don't know t Boz and Chili besides me being a fan of their music. My thing was, you know, with Left Eye, I didn't realize that I was competition because I came in a, in a game real green. I was, you know, wet behind the ears. So I was mostly trying to be friendly with everyone and be cool and wanted to be accepted. And I learned that it wasn't like that. So, you know, that's when I kind of had to turn up and just become a totally different person. I couldn't be nice because that was getting taken for granted, you know? And that's when I just kind of learned that this industry is, you know, it's an illusion. It's just a lot of fakeness that go on. And it's kind of like a game you have to play. Um, 